Sometimes I think how lucky I am, you know, living in the UK, we have free speech. That's beautiful, that's great. Everyone should be entitled to free speech. But then I go on social media and I'm like, no, nah, not everyone. There's a lot of bellends out there, innit? And they need to be muted. The only person they should be sharing their thoughts with is a therapist. Like the people racially abusing black footballers. Your mum. Why is it when a black footballer plays badly or makes a mistake, they get racism? What, white footballers don't play badly? White footballers don't make a mistake? Two words. Phil Jones. Every time I've seen Phil Jones play, I've been like, mate, give me your shirt, I'll do it. If you're racially abusing a player over a game, you need help. You need Jesus. You need a hug. You need to get laid. Actually, maybe not. The last thing you want is a bell end reproducing. You need to stay inside. You need to self-isolate forever. You need Sky Broadband. That way you never have good enough connection to get online. You need to build a time machine so someone can go back to when your mum and dad were hooking up to tell your dad to pull out. Who abuses Marcus Rashford? The man feeds kids in his spare time. He's the Santa Claus of dinner ladies. Abusing Marcus Rashford is like calling Mother Teresa a hoe. You know what they need on social media? A reveal button. If someone has been abusive towards you, you can hit reveal on their profile and voila. It shows their name, where they work, where they live. That way you can go to them and see if they're brave enough to say that same shit to your face. I highly doubt it. Anyone can be abusive on social media. You're hiding behind a keyboard, it's easy. But if you had to say that same shit to someone's face, you'd be like, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya.